Now, let's hit on all 12 cylinders and try it on this cast iron cylinder block that Scott put together for us here. With that, we'll be able to simulate some typical face milling operations with interrupted cuts. First, we're gonna use a 200 millimeter cutter with a total of 16 teeth. We're loading all 16 pockets with carbide inserts. Semi-finishing inserts in the fixed pockets and finishing inserts in the adjustable pockets. This is a key feature of this product. Running it with carbide inserts only, running it wet, and with fairly low cutting speed, it will still deliver great surface finish capabilities. This is ideal for machines that have limitations and cannot be operated with high RPMs. Now, let's do this. Showing the capabilities of this new cutter on machines with low RPM capabilities, we're running the cutter at only 220 meters per minute with a 0.5 millimeter depth of cut and 0.125 millimeters feed per tooth. While the cutter is still running, let's take a look at the spindle load quickly. Just perfect for smaller, less powerful machines. Let's check what surface quality we can achieve here. Second, we'll take a dry cut with this 200 millimeter cutter. This time, the cutter is loaded with ceramic inserts and CBN finishing inserts in the four adjustable pockets. Last but not least, we're gonna show you something that goes beyond the standard cutter offering. For that, we're using a 200 millimeter diameter cutter again, but all 16 insert pockets are adjustable. In every fourth pocket, we have installed a finishing cartridge with a CBN finishing insert. All other cartridges are semi-finishing cartridges, but are loaded also with CBN semi-finishing inserts. But before Scott pushes the start button, we'll have to move this cutter to the presetter and get it adjusted accordingly. The square finishing inserts are being adjusted relative to the preset hexagon semi-finishing inserts and adjust them so that we have an axial runout of three microns. As a result, we should see a tremendous improvement on the surface quality. We're lowering the cutting speed a little to 850 meters per minute and feed per tooth will go down to 0.09 millimeters. The depth of cut will remain the same with 0.5 millimeters. Just by looking over the surface, you can tell we've achieved a mirror-like surface finish. Let's look at the measuring results. When achieving results this good, you may even consider eliminating grinding processes with this solution. Thanks for checking out the KCFM 45. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on upcoming videos.